Look at her tacos, just growing. This. <laughs> ah, can you see me? Die. Gosh, Nina, girl. You ain't have to do me like that, girl. I made a homemade fertilizer. You look so beautiful. You are glowing. I don't have the money to pay you right now. Oh, there's a spider. Irresponsible. <laughs> back to my channel. Today I am going to be taking care of my plants. Today's plant care day and trust me my plants need it. I was gone for about almost two weeks and they did not receive any water, attention. I left the windows open but in terms of like TLC they got none. Um, so I'm gonna revive some of my plants and also I got some new plants yesterday. <music> And I'll introduce, introduce those two. So let's just jump right into it. First, I'm going to start with my succulents. Allow me to introduce Rose, Pearl, and Berry. So these were my first, first plants that I got not long ago. I've accumulated a lot of plants in a short amount of time. And um, I almost killed this one by overwatering, but I had to dry her out. Now she's recovering, and so I'm very, very sensitive about the amount of water I give these guys. All right, so I have my moisture meter to make sure that I'm not overwatering my plants. I already know. I checked all my plants yesterday because I had to plan what I was going to do today. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to use just regular tap water and um, mosquito dunks because I have had a problem with fungus gnats. Unfortunately, they're just like little fruit flies flying around and I believe most of them are coming from berry So I'm just going to water these very lightly So next up is Annie she is my golden pothos um, she has been thriving. I actually have left her out on the balcony the past couple days just so she can get a little extra like indirect sunlight. Um, but she needs a serious watering and fungus gnat treatment. Not because I've seen fungus gnats come from her, but just as a preventative measure. And also I'm going to wipe down her leaves with my um, natural pesticide that I made, which just has soap, water, and a few drops of neem oil. So first, I'm gonna water. Okay, and I stop because she is dripping. She's dripping at the bottom of her pot and so I'm gonna stop watering her. I forgot to include the fertilizer, <laughs> but let me just put one pump of uh, indoor plant food fertilizer in my can for the next few plants. Um, yeah, she looks great, And but because she's been outside for a while, I want to make sure that she has no pests on her, so I'm going to do a nice little treatment. And also, I want to put her back outside, so I want to have like preventative measures as well, because I want her to, you know, like, bust out and just be like, bam, you know. <laughs> you look so beautiful. You are glowing. That's faster. <laughs> all right, Annie is all done. Alrighty, so next up is Layla, my orchid that I got from Kroger. Um, she, I, I don't know if I knew what I was getting myself into when I got her because she doesn't have soil. She has moss and I have no experience with moss. Um, 
But I did watch some YouTube videos and they said it's best to bottom water orchids. I don't know, but let me check her. I think she was okay yesterday. Oh yeah, she's wet. <laughs> so she doesn't need any treatment. Okay. So this is Tigger because of the stripes. Um, he's my snake plant. Um, they say snake plants are like the easiest plants to take care of and I'm starting to see why they say that. Um, because he's just thriving. I see a little baby one coming up and I haven't watered him in weeks. But let me just check the soil. <laughs> the soil is moist. I don't need to do anything. Nothing at all. This. <laughs> oh, can you see me? Hey. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so this is my peace lily. Her name is Cassandra. She has definitely suffered the most from my absence. <laughs> um, but I knew like a lot of her leaves were gonna die off, especially like the, the blooms. I knew they were gonna die at some point, so I wasn't that sad. I was sad, but not that sad. But she is in dire need of good watering. Her tips are starting to brown a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the tips are starting to brown. And of course her leaves are dead. All right, so I have my scissors and what I'm gonna do is just, um, I've already disinfected them with rubbing alcohol because that's what you're supposed to do um, to prevent bugs from traveling from one plant to another. But I'm just going to snip off the dead flowers and in leaves. So I'm gonna do that now. <gasps> now that I have cut off all the dead leaves and um, blooms, I'm going to water it. I made a homemade fertilizer. <laughs> Um, I just soaked banana peels in water for a few days. Um, the potassium in banana encourages blooms, and I want more blooms to come up, even though I still have quite a few. I think I have like three or four. And I see some new leaves like unfurling, so I'm excited about that. But I still made this like DIY fertilizer. And now we're gonna water. Okay, so this is my Monstera Deliciosa, my new plant, one of my new plants. Um, I'm not going to water her. Her name is, I think it's, I know what her name is, but I'm trying to remember where I got it from. I think it's Liza from the Wild Thornberries. Y'all remember that TV show, Liza? I love that show. Um, but I'm not going to water her because her soil is moist. Um, so I'm just going to clean her leaves down with some pesticide treatment. And I might put a little bit of water in her soil just to get the, um, the mosquito dunks, like bacteria in there so it can kill any fungus mites that may or may not be in there. I mean, fungus gnats. <laughs> and so yeah, that's what's going on with Liza today. So I was deciding between this plant and a fiddle leaf fig. I really want a fiddle leaf fig, um, but I don't know, they also like really intimidate me because of how big they are. But these are big too, you know? Um, but I was just like, what, what, what it came down to was, you know what? My friend has taken care of this one before. Um, hers died, but she's taking care of it, <laughs> so <laughs> can't be that hard. That's not the best reasoning, but I also just really love the leaves, and I wanted this like tropical vibe. And so here we are. I have a fiddle leaf fig, and her name is Liza or Eliza. Not quite sure which one I want to go with yet. But I rebuke all of the pests, all of them. I rebuke all of you die thoughts I have 
while in his pants. So what about you guys? Do you guys have plants? Do you guys have a Monstera? Any advice you want to give me as a new Monstera owner? I'm really excited. Um, I want to put her in a good spot with a lot of light, but I'm still not 100% sure where that's going to be. Two places, one's in my bedroom, one's in my living room. Um, but I'm leaning towards my bedroom. I just don't want her to take over the bedroom because technically I'm the star of my bedroom. Well, or my bed is. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to be jealous of a plan. That's not how, who I am. I'm tired. <laughs> okay, so the last one is my philodendron Brazil. Her name is Nina. So let me get it real quick. Isn't she beautiful? I think she's gorgeous. And she has so many baby leaves that are coming in. Oh, I can't wait. Yep, she's moist. She doesn't need any water. Um, but since again I just got her, I'ma have to I'ma do a little cleaning up. So same thing I did with the Monstera. I'm just going to take my soap, water, and neem concoction and spray this girl down. Oh, I also forgot to mention that I misted my Monstera with just water because they like humidity. So I'm, I just misted it with some water just in the air over it so it would fall down just like it would in the rainforest. I didn't spray it directly on the plant. Just spray it up in the air above it, let the particles fall, and leave a nice little ooh, mist. <laughs> like a nice little shower. You know like when it's hot outside and you go when you were little and you go to like the little water parks where the water would spurt out of the ground and you just get the spray before you even get to the water just like whoo yeah helping my girl out wipe 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 down wipe 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 down I always wanted to do that TikTok but it looked like a lot of work and so I was like eh. <laughs> lazy it looked like a lot of um editing work and I'm not a huge editor despite having a YouTube channel I am NOT a fan of editing I used to be but now I'm just like <sighs> so if anyone wants to edit my videos for me um, I'm I don't have the money to pay you right now oh there's a spider die Um, I don't have the money to pay you right now, but when I make it big, it's gonna be lit. Trust. Plants are expensive. Nobody told me that coming into this. I got my heart all entangled. These plants, and I'd be like, I can't put no price on you. You're too beautiful. I hope this video is under 20 minutes. I didn't think it was gonna take this long. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, Nina, girl. You ain't have to do me like that, girl. You just woke up and was like, oh, hey. Hey, girl. How you doing? irresponsible <laughs> every time I see black thing I'm not maybe I'm not built for plants every time I see something black I think it's a bug and I almost flip out and I have to like tell myself Kristen calm down it's probably just dirt and it is <laughs> oh girl you came in here and you looking all cute now you trying to get you somebody or what or are you just doing this for yourself shoot 
Okay. You ain't have to do one like that, though. Dang. Look at how it's got stuck on circles. Just grow me. You gonna be yellow or you gonna be green? Or you gonna be like. There's so many baby ones coming up. It's lit. <laughs> All right, I think I'm done with this one. All right, you guys, that is it for my plant care routine video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, make sure you press the like button then. Like, yeah, because what that does, it shows that my video is actually good and people will enjoy it. So it promotes it, and get more views, get more subscribers, reach more people, impact more lives. <laughs> but um, on a serious note, thank you so much for watching this video. It was my first of its kind. This is like all I watch on YouTube nowadays. And um, so I was like, you know, why not make a video of it myself? Like, this is what I enjoy right now. And so, without further ado, I'm going to wrap this video up. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.